getting right into today's video we're gonna start off by buffing off the shine from my natural nail because I have been doing tons of videos on my own nails I want to make sure that I am just being very very careful so I'm taking my McCart Pro e file at a speed of 4,000 rpms along with that I'm using the mandrel bit that I came with and a fine sanding band that it also came with so again very very light on the filing on my natural nail I do not want to damage my nails they so far are keeping their health so I want to make sure that I'm being extra careful and then I am going to be taking a hand file and just filing the free edge I like a nice clean free edge whenever I'm doing a new set no matter if it's acrylic press-ons or it just a gel I always want to make sure that I am filing that nicely and very very short Now I'm just very quickly taking this rounded diamond cut bit and I'm just going to go in and file around that cuticle area very, very lightly, still at 4,000 RPMs on the speed, very light pressure on the handpiece. I'm just going in to clean up my cuticles just a little bit. Even though I just did my nails, they still grow out and they still get crusty, so I want to make sure that I make them nice and clean. Now I'm taking one of their lint-free wipes and a little bit of alcohol and just cleaning the surface of my nail, removing any excess dust while also dehydrating the nail. That's going to help all the products adhere nicely. I'm actually not going to be applying any primer or anything like that. We're just going to cold turkey it and slap it on there, see how well it lasts. So I'm actually going to be going in with a very thin layer of their Prep in One. I had no idea this product existed and I'm so excited that they did come out with this product. It is a nail glue so you can easily adhere your press on nails with this. You can use it as a base coat and you can also use it as a slip solution which I absolutely adore when doing poly gel nails. So now you don't have to worry about trying to find a base coat to try to use. They have this prep in one available to you guys. So I'm actually going to be going in very thin layers and then we're going to be placing that in the light for about 30 seconds. I don't think you need to overly cure that. So I'm just going to go in with the 30 second option and and then we're going to be going in and applying our tips. So they recently launched the Nail Pump Ups X. I'm so excited. They are a soft gel press on nails. I'm sure you guys have seen tons of other companies come out with them. So I'm very excited to be working with McCart on this video. I'm going to also quickly just show you guys their nail plumpers in three different shades. They are absolutely beautiful. So first we have the color Pillow Talk, which is actually going to be the one that I'm going to be using in today's video. It is a very beautiful beautiful pinkish nude color once I put it on I feel like it gave off a little bit more of an orange tone but still super super pretty next we have the color sandstorm it's like a very deep mauve pink color and then lastly we have the color flattery which is so pretty it's more of like a baby rose pink which is going to be perfect for like french nails or any like type of vibe that you're trying to get like that really pink color now we're gonna be going in with pillow talk and I'm gonna go right in and add it to the back side of the press on nail and then I'm going to add just a little bit more so that I have enough to pull forward I am gonna be using this color to my advantage whenever I'm doing my nail art so I want to make sure that I pull enough forward um, that was the first nail that I've ever done using this type of product so I do feel like a little bit more works better because I did end up seeing the line of my natural nail which I did not like. So make sure you guys do add a good amount of that product on that tip. Now as you can see I went ahead and sized my index finger but I felt like it was a little bit too wide at the cuticle area so I went ahead and just took a buffer and filed it a little bit so that it was a little bit more on the shape of my natural nail. So I went ahead and added that color once again. You can see that it is super easy to do. I am obsessed with doing press on nails now. So I do apologize if you guys don't like that on my channel, but I am obsessed when I tell you guys that this is such an easy way to do your nails at home. I 10 out of 10 recommend it. And I was just so excited to have these new nail plumpers because I've been dying to try a method like this where it's not just your natural nail color under there. I always like to add a little bit of color to my natural nail, especially if I don't want to add a color over top. So this just is a perfect combination. Again, we're going to start at the cuticle area and then just push down towards the free edge. And you can see the product just flow down nicely. 
I'm gonna be using my little light and just curing it very quickly. And once it's nice and put, I'm gonna leave it alone and we're gonna move on to the next nail. Once I'm done applying all five fingers, that's when I would fully cure that in my McCart Pro Light. So I'm just basically flash curing these on there so that they do not move or anything like that. Now I know sometimes this type of application can be terrifying, but I'm here to tell you, simply slide it off and redo it. So I'm gonna show you because I did kind of mess up on this finger right here. I ended up not getting enough product towards the back, so I went ahead and just slid it off and all that product pretty much comes off. And if it doesn't, just go ahead and take that tip and scrape it off. So I went ahead and shut off my nail. I'm actually going to remove the bulk product, wipe it away, and then I'm gonna redo the process. And now I'm able to easily redo it without having to worry about anything overflowing or anything like that. And then again, flash cure very quickly. Now I do believe that I'm applying a little bit too much pressure, but I actually really like the fact that it's ombre on its own. You can tell that at the cuticle area, it's nice and sheer, and it's almost like an ombre effect into that nude color that I'm using, which I really, really like how that looks. So I'm definitely glad that I ended up doing it this way for sure. Again, we're just flash curing it, and then I'm going in for 60 seconds. I ended up just doing the 30 second twice because I was too lazy to hit the 60 second button, but I did go in for a full 60 seconds for that last cure in by McCart Pro Light. Now I'm actually gonna be trimming these whenever I'm doing any classes or demos or anything of teaching nature. I always try to have no nails or very, very short nails because I feel like when I have really long nails, I get in the way of my own teaching. The nails just kind of cover up whatever I am trying to show. So I prefer to just use a very short to no nail at all on myself. So we're gonna be trimming these. I just took some scissors, cut off the excess, and I'm gonna be shaping them into my favorite almond shape. If you guys are new to my channel, whenever I do short nails, I absolutely adore doing an almond nail. I feel like they just look so cute and dainty, which I absolutely love when I'm doing short nails. So I'm just going in and filing the sides until I am content with the shape. And I'll be showing you guys on my other nails exactly how I do the almond shape. Um, I'm going to be taking my file and going underneath and pretty much tucking it under and it's going to create a very nice and easy round shape. And then once I get to the center point, I'm going to try to curve it in more as you can see. And I just go back and forth from side to side, making sure that I'm not over filing one side or the other. I did want to quickly mention that I ended up doing my other hand off camera and I ended up doing a different kind of vibe for that nail art design. I wanted to try out one of the other liners. So for that set, I actually did not use a base coat of any sort. I just went in fully with the prep in one for the adhesion. And again, I did not use a base coat and it worked just fine. So if you guys do not feel the need to add a base coat and then go in with the plumper or the prep in one you don't have to because they are on they are definitely secured onto my nail and like i said that kind of just eliminates one of the steps from having to do that Now once everything is shaped nicely, I'm gonna be going in with my e-file once again, and I'm actually gonna be taking another diamond bit and just buffing that nail down near the cuticle area. I wanna make sure that it, it is nice and flush to my natural nail so that it doesn't look too fake. And then at this point, if I had any leakage from the gel that I placed under there, I would go ahead and remove that as well. But I did not have any of that issue at all, so I'm just gonna go in and blend everything together nicely. Now I'm gonna quickly show you guys the beautiful colors from their new Disco Nail Liners. They are so freaking pretty. I absolutely love the variety of colors. They're very, very pigmented and very bright, which I love for the summertime. But I'm gonna be using the pink one for today's video. As I mentioned earlier, we are on a trip with McCart and they are all about pink and I am a part of their pink squad. So we're gonna be doing pink for the uh, demo. 
I'm just going to be doing a very, very simple, but I really, really like these colors. So if you guys want reflective liners, definitely recommend these. So I'm just going to go in with that beautiful pink color. And I'm just going to be doing a very simple French design. I'm going in on one side, doing a line, and then I'm just connecting it in the center, kind of curving it. You can do it thicker, you can do it thinner. It kind of just depends on what look you're trying to do. I did it more definitely on the thinner side just because I feel like I already barely have any length to the nail so I didn't want to make it look a little weird. Now I did want to also mention that these are a little bit on the thicker side because they do have that reflective glitter in it. So just make sure that you're kind of working with the product evenly. You don't want to be super, super bulky because that can always lead to chipping. So I'm just kind of moving it back and forth. If I feel like any area is a little bit too thick, I go ahead and just take my brush and scrape off a little bit of it and then blend it back out to the rest of the color. So just do note that it's not terribly thick, but it is a little bit thicker because like I said, it has that glitter. Typically glitter uh, um, polishes or liners or anything, they tend to be the same thickness so if you're used to working with them then you'll know exactly what i'm talking about but i'm gonna go ahead and finish off lining that smile line and then we're gonna be placing it in the light for a full 60 seconds And then once we are out of the light, I'm actually going to be taking the top coat. This one's just a shiny top coat because it's glitter. Of course, I wanted to do shiny. I want to make sure that that reflectiveness comes through whenever I show you guys. So I'm just going in with a thin layer of that and then right back into the light for another 60 seconds. I went ahead and added some cuticle oil, rubbed that in very nicely, but that pretty much concludes today's video. I am going to be inserting a video of my other hand as well because I want to show you guys how stunning that color is, but that pretty much concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a ton. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.